So I want to show how my hair looked like before this little journey. So that's outside and inside. Here I am getting ready to remove the color. I'm going to be using this color oops, it's the extra conditioning one. There's a lot of directions. And then I wonder here if I have enough <laughs> for my hair, which I don't later on, but it, it did a pretty good job for this one time around. So this Evanescent shirt is just a shirt I use every time I'm going to do anything to my hair because I don't really wear it anywhere else. So it, I believe it does come with gloves, by the way. I just like using my own. And then I fought with this. Thing. I don't. I still don't understand how to take it off. I had to use scissors. You'll see it in a few seconds that it popped off with scissors. Don't know why. Super nervous. <laughs> I was like, okay, there's no going back. Well, there is going back. I mean, even at this point of my hair, I can probably put red dye back in if I really wanted to. This one smelled, I would say. Um, everybody complains about the smell, but I will say that the one I get later on, which is the extra strength or something, that one smells so bad. And I'm about... Right now, at this point that I'm recording this voiceover, it's about two weeks-ish, and or about to be two weeks, and my hair still smells like it when I wash it. So just keep that in mind, that it smells bad and it lingers. It lingers so annoyingly long. <laughs> And at the end of this video, I will go over more about what I did for washing it and conditioning it and everything afterwards. So this has to be on your hair for about 20 minutes. Online I saw 25, but I think my instructions literally said 20. There was a little blonde part. So this part I was kind of um, confused. And I went to go show Jason, but I was a little confused because I was like, wait, it, it literally only took that much off? Like... That was a lot of work so far. And I thought at this point it was a lot of work. And it becomes much more work. <laughs> uh, but here's my little blonde part. Oh, jump in the shower. The shower, honestly, is the most annoying part. Because you have to rinse it for eternity, essentially. And I didn't realize how fast I take in showers until I had to do this. Which was um, rinsing it for about 20 minutes, literally 20 minutes, and I think it says 15, 20 minutes, and then washing it twice and rinsing it five minutes in between, which is a long time, by the way. So here's how it looks like now. I, I At this round, I got most of it off, and I was really shocked because I was like, oh my gosh, I did not realize it was going to be like this, honestly. I saw a lot of videos, but it's still pretty much a shock. But that's how it looks. I still have some pink parts here, um, a little bit of orangey parts. Some rose gold parts, like, it's all over the place. But I think I didn't have enough in the box for my length of hair. I think that was a problem. You can see more of the disaster in the back. <laughs> so I want to show you how it looks outside, which you can definitely see more of the red orange niche that's going on. How Jason helped me record this part. Headed back to Ulta um, to get the extra strength one. Hopefully we'll pick off the rest of it was my goal. Um, I did look for it in other places and for some reason Sally's and Target didn't have it so I had to go to Ulta, which is fine. So same thing, pour one into the other and then shake for like 30 seconds or something. You can see my shirt got discolored. I think it is still discolored. I think it literally lifted the color off of my shirt. <laughs> and also my shirt smelled so bad. <laughs> I had to, uh, we had to leave it outside. That's how bad it smelled because it was making our whole bathroom smell. Like I took everything outside of the bathroom and I couldn't figure out what it was and it was my shirt. So I had to kick my shirt out and I had to also wash my hair towel. <laughs> this is how it looks after the second one. And I would say at this point it's done. Um, 
any type of redness you see, honestly, is probably just my hair, um, especially because I still have roots. And I haven't decided that I wanted to actually fix my roots. I don't mind them like this. I don't really like bright roots anyway, but this is what it looks like. So I wanted to go over also what I use to wash my hair to kind of help me along in this process. Um, and I would say first I started actually before even you use the color remover, I was actually washing it with this Not Your Mother's, why are you open? Not Your Mother's Activated Bamboo Charcoal and Purple Moonstone, which is funny enough, I was actually scared of this. So I have both of them, um, the conditioner and the shampoo. And I was actually scared of that because I saw a video where somebody had, I think it was like a temporary dye, honestly, um, now that I think about it, but she used this and it took out all of the dye. And I was like, okay, I am not getting near that, my, my red hair, I am not touching that. And then when I used it to try to prepare and try to like take off some layers, it took some color off, but not enough for you to tell. It actually, I think I recorded that first clip that you saw, I'll enter it here again, about the red outside. Like that was after washing with this a few times. And my hair was actually pretty good. I was actually terrified because I always follow exactly what I'm supposed to follow with my red hair, which is uh, pretty cool showers, if not cold. Well, not showers, but <laughs> that would be horrible. But like um, washing my hair in cold water, I use very safe color shampoos. Um, sometimes I redeposit color with a shampoo or conditioner, blah, 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 blah. So I did exactly the opposite of what I was basically trained by myself to do, which was use a clarifying shampoo. And quite often, like I was washing my hair pretty much every day, which I normally don't do either. And um, with hot water or warm water, whatever heat of water I can deal with, um, because I really don't like hot water. So to me, it was hot. But anyways, um, so like some pink came out, but really, honestly, it kind of held its ground pretty good. So I was just like, oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. But I did do that. So I used these. These are pretty much halfway done. And I bought them only for this because I washed, I used them to wash before and I used them to wash during the color remover uh, saga that I had. Um, so I used quite a bit of it and it's, I mean, there's still some here, and honestly, this has turned into one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners because it feels so good afterwards, so definitely going to buy this again. <laughs> um, it also smells really good. Uh, however, there's, like, nothing that covers that smell of the color remover, so be prepared. <laughs> it smells so bad. Um, I can't even explain it. It's like a sulfur type of smell, and it not only permeates your hair, like, I can still kind of smell it, but now I'm starting to smell my, um, my good stuff now, but I mean, this took a lot of washes. <laughs> this took a lot of washes, and um, the first, I think the the second box, extra strength, was the worst. It smelled the worst. It was the strongest, and at that point, you know, you you need to wash any towels your hair was in. You need to wash a shirt. I had to even wash my my bra because the water went in there and kind of like sat there with that smell, and it was just like. Oh, it was so bad. And I still feel like I smell it. And I'm like, I threw everything away. I washed everything. I feel like I'm going nuts now because <laughs> I still smell it. But um, it's because it's still kind of in my hair. So when my hair gets wet, I smell it again. And I've read that. That's apparently a thing. And I was like, oh, I wish I would have knew that ahead of time. But it's okay. It gave me pretty good results. I really, really like how my hair is um, because there are so many different blondes in there underneath it. Um, it actually looks... I mean, not right now, but outside a bit, it looks like there's, there's dimension, there's little differences in colors, which I thought I was going to get, have to get highlights, but I don't know, I like it. Um, so back to my products, as I said, I use that. I also, in my desperate attempt to cover it, I bought this Pacifica, it is a French lilac perfume for your hair and body. So I've been spraying this in my hair smell like lilac. <laughs> I smell like lilac and sulfur. <laughs> um, Jason says he can't smell it. I smell it, uh, probably because I'm right next to my, you know, it's like right next to my face, but um, so I've been using this, and it does help. doesn't have alcohol in it. Um, honestly, I really like the smell. It reminds me of a little perfume, little toy thingy I had when I was a kid, so that's kind of funny, but 
nice it's a nice light mist which i appreciate so the next thing i use um i do have a deep conditioner i don't like it it's also not your mother's it's the apple blossom something or other i really don't like it honestly um honestly this conditioner can be a deep conditioner it's like thick and it's really good but I did get the Shea Moisture Purple Rice Water Strengthen, what is my strength? Strength and Color Care Mask. So this has purple rice water, wild orchid extract, and sweet violet extract. I've used one of these so far, so my hair does feel pretty good. It doesn't feel as like fried at the bottom, even though I still do need a trim and I will get a trim, maybe today maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I do know I need a trim. And I didn't realize how how long my hair was until I started recording all this. I was like, oh crap, I didn't realize that. So this is, it is for color maintenance and care and it's color safe and all that. However, I got it for the ingredients as the rice water. It has, you know, everything. And honestly, it feels really good. So I might buy more of these just to kind of maybe like once a month do a little pick me up. My hair doesn't normally need that much stuff. It's actually pretty soft. Um, the bottom of it's just fried, but that, you know, comes into the territory of keeping dyeing your hair. So I can just feel it at the bottom. It's literally probably, probably I need, I might need to cut that much. Maybe, give or take, because that's where it starts to feel crappy, honestly. So yeah, those, those are the things I use to kind of help me along. I used, um, I also used some hair oil, but I mean, I typically use that. So I didn't really think of anything new. It was literally the Not Your Mother's charcoal, the French lilac hair spray, and the Shea Moisture purple rice water mask. So those were very helpful. Um, the other things I would suggest is, um, honestly, a shower chair if you can. I have one. I normally use one um, because I have a heart issue that it's hard for me to stand up for a long time, especially if I'm taking a hotter shower. It just gets a little difficult for me to breathe, but I didn't use it the first time around, which was not a good idea for me because I normally use a shower chair. But I decided, you know, I, I just need to rinse my hair, so it's fine. I'm going to stand up the water, blah, blah, blah. No, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it was so difficult because you don't realize how long 20 minutes is to rinse your hair. Oh, oh that's a lot of water. But I think because I don't wash my hair that often, it kind of evens out in the grand karma scheme of things, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. But that was a lot. Like you first, you shampoo it a little bit to get some of the, pro uh, you know, the chemical product, whatever off. And then you rinse, you rinse for 20 minutes. And then you shampoo it again and you rinse for five minutes. And you feel like five minutes would be easier, but no, at that point you've been there forever and you're exhausted and you just don't want to be in the shower anymore. And then you rinse again for five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot and I would say it was easier second time around because I actually had my phone on a tripod and I can kind of see it outside of the the shower at that point I was also sitting down so the second round I did I used my shower chair and I um I played a 20 minute video I think I was watching like Brad Mondo some hair video that was 20 minutes long so once that was done the next video I had to play was a 10 minute video. <laughs> so the 20 minute video was done. That means I was done rinsing out my hair and then I washed my hair really quick. And then, you know, the next video started halfway into that video. So I kind of had to keep an eye on it. Um, I washed it again and then it was done. So be, keep yourself entertained. That's, that's my tip. Keep yourself entertained because it is a very long time to be in the shower of just rinsing. Like you can't really do anything else because you have to be rinsing your hair. Um, and if you're standing, I guess you can kind of do other things. But anytime I tried, I was like, okay, well, let me, you know, take a shower and do stuff. No, because <laughs> your hair would not be in the water or whatever. And it has to be rinsing. If it doesn't rinse, then you're not getting all of that color remover out of your hair and you're not getting all the color. But what was interesting, though, is that you would think, or at least I would think, that the color or the water that's coming out, for especially the first round, that it would be pink or red or whatever. No, it was clear. It's completely clear. So I had no sense of what was going on other than I kind of saw my, you know, hair a little bit whenever I was, like, moving it around. 
So yeah, that's, that would be my biggest tips. Get clarifying shampoos that you like, get a hair mask that you like, um, get something to cover up the smell because it will drive you insane and um, entertain yourself while you're rinsing for eternity. Yeah. So this is my hair now. And um, like I said, I haven't decided if I was going to put more highlights or if I'm going to do anything else. I kind of like the color. This is actually close to the color that won my little Instagram Facebook voting and I'll put the color here. So this is the color that people picked and this is the color I have. And that was only for removing my red. I didn't add any other colors. I didn't put any other dyes. I didn't even do another toner. Um, I could do a toner. I could try to get some of the, I actually, I don't even think it's that brassy. I think it's a good tone um, for me anyway. I can do a lot of different colors, as you can see here and here and here and here. <laughs> so I can do a lot of different colors, but I like this one. So I'm going to stick with this for a while. I just need a trim, maybe some layers, and we'll be good to go. And this is my new hair for a while until I get bored. I want to do like rainbow or something. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything that I did in this entire video, please comment below. I will love to answer them. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram, all of my information is also down below. Bye! Thank you.